All right, one more example of graphing a rational function. What I would recommend after doing the previous one, uh, example three, I would pause the video right now and fill out as much of this information, make the best sketch you can, and see how yours compares to mine. So here goes. Vertical asymptotes happen when the denominator is equal to zero. I've given us a nice difference of squares on this problem. x squared minus nine is x plus three times x minus three. And so that means, again, I have two vertical asymptotes. One of them is going to be at the x value negative 3, and one is at the x value positive 3. So there's two. My horizontal asymptotes, this is the situation where the degrees are the same in the top and the bottom. So the horizontal asymptote is going to be the ratio of their coefficients, which is 1 over 1. So the horizontal asymptote is y equals 1. The y-intercept happens when I plug in 0 into my function. And when I do that, I have 0 squared in the top, and then 0 minus 9 in the bottom. 0 divided by anything is 0, so the origin is the y-intercept. The x-intercept happens when my graph equals 0. And I've said a bunch of times on these videos that a fraction is only ever 0 when the top is 0, so x squared equals 0. The only time x squared can be equal to 0 is when x equals 0. So the x-intercept and the y-intercept are the same point. They are the origin. Lastly, does the graph cross the horizontal asymptote? So we've got x squared over x squared minus 9. That equals the value of the horizontal asymptote, which is 1. I am going to multiply both sides by the common denominator. And so what I'm left with is x squared on the left, and then 1 times x squared minus 9 on the right. And as we've seen in other problems, when I go to bring the x squared all on the same side, they're going to cancel, and I'm going to get the equation 0 equals negative 9. That is another contradiction. Whenever you get a contradiction, whenever all the x's cancel, the answer to this is no. It is not going to cross the horizontal asymptote. So let's take the information I have, and then we will come back here and we will, uh, we will fill in any gaps we have. So my vertical asymptotes are both at negative 3 and positive 3. My horizontal asymptote is at y equals 1. So I get this little thing that looks like an h now. My y-intercept and x-intercept are both the origin. And I know that the graph doesn't go through the horizontal asymptotes. So on this, graphs never go through the vertical asymptotes. That's always firm. And this one, it doesn't go through. So once again, I don't have a whole lot of information. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to plug in a value to the left of this vertical asymptote, say negative 5 or negative 6, whatever. I'm going to do negative 5. I'm going to plug in an x value to the right of this vertical asymptote, positive 5 or 6 or 7, doesn't matter. And then here, just to get a feel for what's going on, I'm going to plug in negative 2 and positive 2 to get an idea of what's going on between those vertical asymptotes. So I'm going to come back over to this board, and I'm going to plug in these values. We're going to see what's going on. Then we're going to use the asymptotes to, to complete uh, the behavior of the graph. So here goes. When I plug in negative 5, negative 5 squared is 25. Negative 5 squared is 25 minus 9. So that's 25 over 16. Okay, so 1 and 9 sixteenths. So more than 1 and a half. When I plug in negative 2, I get negative 2 squared or 4 in the top. Negative 2 squared or 4 minus 9 in the bottom. So that's 4 over negative 5, or negative 4 fifths, negative 0.8. Now some of you may have noticed that this is an even function, okay, because I've just got x squared. So you might be a little ahead of the curve, pun intended. You might be a little ahead of the curve on this. 2 squared is 4. 2 squared is 4 minus 9, so uh, 4 over negative 5. Notice we get the same value regardless if we go in the negative direction or positive direction. So that might tell you what to expect when I plug in 5. 5 squared is 25 over 25 minus 9. So that's 25 over 16, or 1 and 9 sixteenths. Okay, so we're just about done. So I'm going to come over here, 
my values when I plugged in negative five, so one, two, three, four, five, I got 25 over 16, so one and almost another uh, over a half. Again, if you need more points, get more points. You got plenty of time. We're all kind of in isolation right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now just gonna complete this graph by using the asymptotes to shape the behavior of the graph. In between here at negative two and positive two, I got negative four fifths. So, so what this means now, because the graph never goes through this horizontal asymptote, is that as I go this way, the graph's gonna go through that point and it's just gonna go down. And then as I go through this point, it's gonna go down. So we got what, like a little mini parabola there in the middle. And then last but not least at the value five, I got 25 over 16, so one and some change. And here is my graph right here. Again, we're just getting a sketch. This is not super precise, but we get a feel for the general shape of this rational function. Good luck with your homework.